What's up, everybody? Welcome to yet another collection video. Uh, I'm Ludicus Highland, as you know. Uh, today we're going to do my Nintendo DS collection. Uh, the DS is interesting. I didn't own it orig like an original DS. I didn't get into the DS until the DS Lite came out. And when it came out, I tell you, it took over my life. That little system came everywhere with me, and it was basically my go-to way of playing games. Uh, I've, I had the DS Lite, and I didn't bother buying the DSi. Because one time I wanted the DSi, the 3DS was right around the corner, and it plays everything. So, this is a big one. To, I mean, it requires an entire self, shelf system for itself, so it might be a little lengthy, but we're going to get through it. First up, we've got Animal Crossing Wild World. I uh, tried playing it. Wasn't a big fan of Animal Crossing back in the day. More so now. Ant Nation. I bought this one because I thought it was going to be cool to, you know, have a, you know, an, an army of ants, but it wasn't as good as, uh, as good as I was hoping it was going to be. Tommy let me down on that one. Assassin's Creed Ultra Years, Chroni or Ultra Years Chronicles. A uh, good little side is a platformer, or well, two and a half D platformer. Uh, some of the events I think take place in between the f like in between the first and the second game. I'm not really sure. I never really sat down and played Assassin's Creed Two Discovery. Uh, this one is a platformer, and I think it's got a little bit of 3D in it. I'm not sure where it takes place in the story. Uh, Away Shuffle Dungeon. This is a really easy uh, dungeon crawler for people to get into. I've never really seen other copies of it. I, I hope somebody out there has some of these games that I have, just because they're, some of them are hard to find. Battleship, self-explanatory. That's not a, the movie tie-in. I'm pretty sure that's... Uh, its own thing. Uh, Blue Dragon Plus. Uh, don't know. I think this happens after the the 360 game. I just I've never played it because I never finished the first one. Boogie, and I have the elusive 3D glasses with it. I know a lot of people don't get them. Uh, I managed to get. It. I think I only paid like a dollar for this. It's not that fun of a game. At least not the DS version. Chrono Trigger, one of my absolute favorite games out there. Uh, if you're going to play Chrono Trigger, I recommend this version. Uh, it has, like, uh, the, the PS1 version has really crazy load times. Yes, it has anime sequences, but this has the anime sequences in it. Uh, the Super Nintendo version is just too dang expensive. And the, uh, the new version that they've released on pretty much every handheld platform uh, and on PC, it it's the mobile game, and it just it doesn't it doesn't get the best representation of what the game is. Cooking Mama, everybody knows what that is. Cooking Mama Two, Dinner with Friends. Trying to get the the third game. Uh, CSI Dark Motives, good a good little puzzler. Custom Robo Arena, fun game. Dawn of Heroes. I've never really sat down to play it, but I do remember that you sort of mix and match parts of the heroes from one hero to another. Uh, Dementia the Warp. Good horror shooter on the system. Disney's Tangled. Uh, I used to only have the cartridge of this, and you know I never put actually put it up on my on my shelf. I was going through um, Valley Village one day, and they had it there's no I'll pick it up at like three ninety nine. It didn't have the game in it, so it just had the box. So when I went up to the friends, like, it doesn't have the game in it. Can I just have the box? So they just gave me the box for free, which was nice of them, which they don't normally do it at my my place. Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Saiyans. Great game if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan. Uh, it's, a, it's an RPG. The only problem is that you only go up to the end of the Saiyan Saga, which bugged me. It's a very fun game. I really wish they would have made more, but I don't think sales were great on it. Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. Fun game. Found this at uh, the Real Canadian Superstore. I think it was like 15 bucks. I begged my mom to buy me it. And I'm happy she did because this game has gotten a little pricey. Dragon Quest IV Chapters of the Chosen. Yet another pricey RPG on the system. I really would love to see a compilation of all the, the DS ones and the 3DS ones for the Switch. Dragon Quest V, Hands of the Heavenly Bride. 
Uh, another great game. Uh, again, another hard, expensive one to find. Dragon Quest VI, Realms of Revelation. This is extremely hard to find from what I've understood from a lot of people. Uh, so much so that Nintendo is actually the one that put it out. Yeah, Nintendo put it out because the other ones are all square. Uh, it came out close to Valentine's Day one year. I was, you know, I didn't have anybody in my life at that point, so I was like, ooh, Dragon Quest will keep me company. I'm glad I bought it because I, after that day, I never saw the posters again. I never saw the game again. I rarely see it go in, into, like, stores. Dragon Quest IX, uh, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. Good game, a little bit of a departure for people who've never played three, because you get to make your own heroes in this, and, uh, job change and that. It's a big game. It's a fun game. The online component was really fun. Me and my friend Kevin sat there and played that for a bit at work. Dragon Quest Monsters Joker. Pokemon uh, in the Dragon Quest universe. Very good game, though. And then Dragon Quest Monsters 2, or Dragon Quest Monsters Joker 2. Nintendo, again, had to bring this out because there was just such a high demand for it, but Square didn't want to deal with it. Uh, it's actually really fun. It just takes a little while to get into it. Next, we got Duke Nukem Critical Mass. This is a horrible game. Even as a Duke Nukem fan, this is horrible. Forever was better than this. It took me a long time to find that. I'm still looking for Mass Destruction, I think it is. But I'll probably never find it. Dungeon Raiders, bad game. I finished it. I somehow made it through. Dynasty Warriors DS Fighters Battle. This game can be finished in about 30 seconds, which was a disappointment to me. Elements of Destruction is actually a pretty funny game. You control the elements, <clears throat> and you're destroying stuff. The original Etrian Odyssey. I'm glad I picked these games up when I did, just because they are so pricey now. Etrian Odyssey 2 here is a laggard. Great game. Etrian Odyssey 3, uh, The Drowned City. Another great game. Exit DS, a friend of bought me this for a birthday one year, and I played it. It was fun. It kept me busy for a while. Feel the Magic. Good game. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, that's the sequel to The Rub Rabbits. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Echoes of Time. Good game. I didn't have anybody to play it with, so I didn't make it very far in it. Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo Tales. Good game. Play as the Chocobo this time. Final Fantasy 3. Uh, that's the game in complete 3D. It's actually not bad. Uh, Final Fantasy 4. This is a great version of Final Fantasy 4. Uh, this version is the PSP version. The PSP version has more and goes quicker. This one, I think, is just a little sluggishly slow story-wise, but still really fun. Final Fantasy 12, Revenant Wings. I'm trying to get into it, but it's just it's a weird setup. It's more of a trying to be like a dungeon crawler, but not. It's a hard game. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics A2, uh, Grimoire of the Rift. Great game. I wasted many an hours playing this. I really wish they would have released Triangle Strategy as the third Tactics game, but mm, I don't know why they didn't. It was a bad move on their part. Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. Fun game, but hard. Front Mission, I've never actually played any of the Front Mission games, uh, but I know they're, they're turn-based mech games. Glory Days 2, I don't even want to talk about that game. Glory of Heracles, fun fun game, my brother actually recommended that one to me, and it took me a while to find it, and then I saw a copy super cheap, so I grabbed it. Golden Sun, Dark Dawn. Uh, if you played the original two, that one's not as good. It's based way further in, in the timeline, things like 10, 20 years. They've got kids, and the kids go on the adventure. I, I have not sat down to really play it. Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. This is the best way to play this because you, uh, a lot of the mini games actually are meant for the, to have a touchscreen. I enjoyed playing that thoroughly. Guitar Hero on tour, I do have... Uh, the uh, peripheral for it, but I can't play it because the 3DS doesn't support it. Harvest Moon DS, Isle, Isle of Happiness, fun, yeah, uh, fun Harvest Moon game. 
Probably was moving frantic for me. If I'm mistaken, this is a puzzle game. Yeah, this is a puzzle game. I did not sit down to actually play it because I didn't care at the time. I just want to harvest move. Next up, we've got Lunar Dragon Song. Yeah, I picked that up for 95 cents one year. I had $3 in my bank account. I picked it up. It's a very bad game in the series. It kind of depresses me, but not my problem. Uh, Locks Quest Tower Defense game. Actually, really fun. I don't remember finishing it, but I remember playing it a lot. Life Science Surgical Unit. Uh, it's basically touch screen doctoring. It, I don't think I played that one as much as I played Trauma Unit. The Legendary Starfy. Fun game. And if you are Brandon Brady, thank you for the copy. Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. I did start playing this one. I was very much so into it, and then I just stopped playing it at one point. Phantom Hourglass. Again, started playing it and stopped. Kirby Superstar Ultra. This is an amazing Kirby game. I uh, highly recommend it if you can find it. It's probably one of the biggest in games content-wise because I think there's like I think it's got uh, it's got mini games. It's got most of the content from the earlier ones. I enjoyed this one thoroughly just because it was it was killer. Uh, Kirby Squeak Squad. Squeak Squad. I don't remember actually playing this. I remember finding it and just never, never playing it. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Recoded. I'm pretty sure this is the, um, the, there was a cell phone game called Coded, and I think this one is the, uh, the remake of it. Okay, hard title to say. Kingdom Hearts, three, 358 over two days. Do you believe I said that correctly? Never really played it. It actually blew the speaker on my uh, my DS, so I never touched it after that. The the uh, the unemployed ninja returns. Azuna two. It's uh, basically a game in the uh, the mystery dungeon series without being a game in the mystery dungeon series. It uses the exact same stuff. Uh, here's one that I've never really seen too many people have. Uh, the humans meet the ancestors. I've never touched it. I found it at a, at a yard sale for like a dollar, so I grabbed it. Hoshigami Ruin, or Ruining Blue Earth Remix. I've never sat down to play it. I'm pretty sure this is a tactic style game. Then we got Heroes of Mana. Uh, I've never played a lot of these. I've picked up in the, over the last few years, and I just I don't touch my 3DS enough for me to to warrant playing it. Next is New Super Mario Bros. What more can I say about it? Need for Speed Nitro. I actually enjoyed this a little bit. I do believe that, I think the Wii version would probably be better. And here's Mystery Dungeon: Shire and the Wanderer. Hard game. Very hard game. Uh, it pays to know somebody with it that's willing to uh, come and save your butt so you don't have to restart. <clears throat> My Sims Kingdom. Never played it. My Sims. I have played a little bit of that, just never really got too far into it. Here's a, uh, here's a fun one that I actually like. My World, My Way. So you play as the princess, and basically you pout. You pout for to make enemies stronger. You pout to change whole land masses, uh, make enemies harder, weaker, whatever. It's there's a lot to it. It was a it was funny, and I don't know many people that have it. Like a lot of these old DS uh, Atlas games, I don't see a lot of people with it at all. Moon. If you ever find a copy of this, pick it up. It's really fun. It's a first person shooter on the moon. Monster Rancher DS. Excellent game. Uh, Bought it at a time when I really didn't care about Monster Rancher and didn't know anything about it. But uh, I'm going to eventually buy the uh, the Switch version of 1 and 2. Metroid Prime Hunters and... And Metroid Prime Hunters first run. Good, good shooter on uh, the DS. I actually remember playing this on an original uh, DS. 
Master of the Monster Lair, you build dungeon and trap monsters and fight monsters. It's it's fun. Mario Party DS, not a great representation of the series. Mario Kart DS, still love this game. It's still one of my absolute favorite uh, Mario Karts out there. Mario and Luigi, Partners in Time, great game. Uh, basically, Mario and Luigi partner with themselves when they're babies. And then Mario and Luigi, uh, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. I have not actually played this. I think I'm gonna get the D or the, the Switch version and play that over top of this one. Resident Evil DS or Deadly Silence. Uh, this is the original Resident Evil with uh, all the DS stuff, like touchscreen. You can play a bit more original content, but it's it's very fun. Radiant Historia. I do not, uh, unfortunately, have the 3DS version of it, but I have the original, and it's a fun game. It's hard, though. Pokemon Conquest. It's Pokemon meets Samurai Warriors, and it's turn-based, and it is weird, but it's one of the weirdest mashups I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I played it near to the end, but not fully. Uh, and then now we got Pokemon Soul Silver. Yes, I do still have the Poke Walker in here. I'm not going to take it out. Uh, I loved playing uh, uh, Silver on the Game Boy. So much so that I had a copy of Silver and Gold at one point, and I had two separate Game Boys. So when I get grounded, whatever Game Boy got taken, the other one would come out, and I'd play the other version until I got the other one back. That's how addicted I was to these games, and I was constantly playing them, doing like the bug, uh, the 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 bug catching contest like every week. It was it was madness. Pokemon Ranger, fun game. I'm trying to find. I think there's two more, but Pokemon games get so expensive so quick. Uh, Pokemon Diamond. Pokemon Black Two. I got a good story about that one. I walked into a Staples in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and they were having this red tag event, and the red tag literally was just, you could pull it off. So, I pulled it off, saw this game, put it on, ended up getting, a, I think I got it for 75% off, and they didn't believe that they had it there, so I just told them, yeah, I found it in that bin with a ticket on, so they gave it to me. Really enjoyed getting that. I played it uh, before I played the first one, Then here's the first one. Then Pipe Mania, another one I found. Found it at the same time as uh, Meet the Humans. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. This is the third game in the series. I have not actually played it. I intend to at some point. Fantasy Star Zero. This is a great game. Uh, I don't know why they call it Fantasy Star Zero, considering it plays more like uh, the portable games or the online game. When you think zero, you think that oh maybe it's based off based off of the stories for one two three four. But no, it's it's not. Pets, wild animals, dolphins with a Z. I found it cheap, so I picked it up. And then personal trainer walking. Personal trainer walking. I don't have the pedometer, but I mean it was cheap. I wanted to fill out the shelf, and why not, right? Up next we have Rhythm Heaven. It is exactly what you think. It's a rhythm game based uh, on the DS. It's got a lot of really good tunes in it. Robopocalypse. I've never played it, but one of these days I'm just going to sit down and do it because it looks interesting. Rock Revolution. The Poor Man's Guitar Hero. It is complete garbage. I don't suggest it. The Rub Rabbits. Fun. Rune Factory. Never played Rune. Uh, most of them. I've only played five, really. Rune Factory 2, Rune Factory 3, that manual is really thin, Scourge Hive, I tried playing this one, it gets difficult after a while and lost interest really easily, Shin Megami, Shin Megami Tensei Devil Sum, uh, Survivor 2, uh, this is the first one of these I actually had played in the series, uh, I didn't even start with Nocturne. Uh, like most people did on the PS2, but I got turned off because of how much talking was in it. And as an as a, an RPG player, I really like uh, you know the story, but there's just so much um, talking. I just I had no patience. Fun game though. 
uh, here's Shimigami Tensei Strange Journey. This is the uh, the not so souped up version. Uh, the, I recommend getting the 3DS version. I think it's cheaper, and you get so much more content out of it. Uh, SNK versus Capcom Card Fighters DS. Fun little game. Uh, it it was weird, but I don't actually see it very often either. Uh, one of the bigger games in my DS. I think I picked up for 25 bucks. This is like right before you know most people would have access or be following eBay or whatever to get pricing. Like I really hate that, but that's the way people are doing it. But this is a Solo Turbo Red the Hunter. Yes, it is complete, including the uh, the soundtrack, which is unopened, which I will never probably open it. Yeah, I bought it for 25 bucks, and I think the guy might be kicking himself in the ass because it's a lot more expensive than that now. But it is a pretty fun game. Sonic Rush, it's a Sonic game. Space Bust to Move, it's a puzzler. Uh, Spectral Force Gen uh, Genesis, it's a weird strategy game. I think it's turn based, and at the same time, it's also an RTS. I don't remember sitting down to play it, I just bought it because it was cheap. Uh, Spectrobes, I still need to find the second one. It's like Disney's version of Pokemon. Spore Creatures, pretty good uh, game. It was basically, it's just the, the creator, if I'm not mistaken. I don't actually know if there's, well, there is a, some sort of story element. Uh, I love Spore. I actually just recently started playing it again. But that's a really good way of playing it. Uh, Star Fox Command, uh, another good Star Fox game that most people don't know of. Star Trek Tactic Assault or Tactical Assault, it's a Star Trek game. I've never actually sat down to play it. I uh, don't know many people who even own it. Steel Princess, yes, the title is a is a joke because the princess steals things. Atlas came out with a lot of wonky games back in this day. Summon Knight Twin Ages is a super simple RPG. I think I finished it within a couple of days of getting it. And now for a title that's so long. Super Robot Tyson OG Saga Endless Frontier. This is a fun game. Very fun game. Very hard to find. Like I, I think I made the right move every time back then. I'd see an Atlas game. I would grab it. It's not the same now. Because now everybody knows Atlas. And old games get beefed up price-wise. Super Scribble Knots. You all know what Super Scribble Knots is. Now we got Tokyo Beatdown. It's a pretty fun game. It's a side, uh, basically a side scrolling beat em up. I quite enjoyed it. I had a good laugh here and there. Uh, Touch Detective. Uh, I think this is technically two and a half. Uh, yeah, 99 cents brand new. I don't know why. Probably the cheapest Atlas game I'll ever buy in my life. Touch the Dead. Fun game. Uh, a little bit more difficult towards the end, but still. Which uh, makes it uh, presence known. Trackmania DS. If you like Trackmania, pick it up. Uh, Trauma Center Under the Knife. Fun game. The World Ends With You. Fun game. Uh, the DS version's a little on the wonky side. You have to use the top screen and the bottom screen at the same time, and it threw me off greatly. And. Explosion! I was going to say, last but not least. Get everything back in there. That exploded all over the place. Guitar here on tour decades. This is the this version has the uh, the actual peripheral in it. It's actually really hard to play. It's really cramped. I'd rather just play like Guitar Hero Five and not hurt my hand. But that's my. Nintendo DS collection. There's still a lot of games on the system I want. Luckily, I have most of the more pricey ones that I wanted. Uh, eventually, I'll add more. Uh, here and there, I add small ones. I want to get a complete collection at some point, which is why I'm happy I have some of the more pricey games. But thanks for watching, everybody, and see you all next time.